I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to force yourself to make quick decisions during the Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints and laps two and four will be set up. We're gonna alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Joker flower, white, north, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, in dots, two, five, four, five. I would play consecutive run here, one through five. One through five, category level. You don't even have to look at the card. Okay, so let's pass these three. It's a little risky, but we want to keep all our consecutive tiles. Here we have a six. We could span up to maybe three through six or something like that, but... There is even three, six, nine in there, but I think one through five is better. And we don't want to pass two nines. Let's let a dragon go. A little risky. Four, there's a keeper, maybe there too. We have a seven, nine. One, two, three, four, two, four, five, six, four, five. We have a flower. We have all the fours. We have two fives. Let's see, one, two, three, let's see, four, five, let's let a six go. Stick with the little numbers. There's a multiple, finally we get a multiple. One through five in one suit, no gaps. Here's a nine, one, three, we could do little odds, two here. So maybe we can keep that and then let a four go. One through five, maybe little odds. There's a three and a two. I think I would build around those multiples and play the first hand. No keepers there. Pass those three. And we'll pass these three for optional cross. Lap. So what I would play here is the first consecutive run hand. One, two pairs. Three pung, four, let's see, pung pung. One, two pair, pung pung con. We just need to build up our, mul our bigger multiples. I'd say that was a good Charleston. We have five discards, but we have a hand with no gaps and three multiples. I'd say that has a pretty good chance of being an early winner. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write in the comment section below what you would have played. Jokers, dragons, east, south, pair of east, two, three, three, nine, two. If this were my hand, I'd probably f force a quint. We've got dragons and winds. So let's keep the three and maybe the south and see what happens. Although there we have like numbers, so I wouldn't do that. I would let that go. Green. That would be part of that potential quint. And since we're playing a big hand, I might let that white dragon go. We're looking for threes. Oh, we got ones. Now we have an option. 
So let's let those three go. And I would pass a white dragon. If you're playing a big hand, that's not such a bad risk. We have a two, five, nine. I would let those go. Focus on the multiples. No keepers there. Two flowers and a west. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I would break something up. Let's break up a three and then pass a flower. Big hand. We got another three. And I let that go. So we're going to mix up those tiles and lap. So I would play a quint. Oh, look, we got our three back. So now we have options. So this is the first quint, five dragons, four wins, and then a quint of any number tile. We've got a couple jokers to help us out. We need to build up, of course, but we can use any number of jokers for that quint. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section below with Sprint 2. We have flower, joker, almost news, red or green and white dragon, three, four, five, nine in cracks, one, three, five in dots. I would either play wins and dragons or little odds. Those would be the predominant patterns, but we can't keep it all. Maybe we could do a like number hand. Let's let a three dot go, or maybe even the one, keep the three. Five crack, that's our multiple right there. So here's news finally, and here we have four, five, like numbers with fives. There is a news hand with like numbers, so I think that's what I would play. I pulled the wrong tile. So I think like numbers with fives and news maybe. So let's let these three go. North, that's a keeper. And we have tiles we can pass. I wouldn't pass a flower at the moment. We're really not playing a big hand. So uh, that's not so bad. Oh, two, four, six. Let's put a nine in there. Evens with an odd. Okay, sevens. We can let that go. Our multiples with a five. Build around that. No keepers there. Let's see. We could do one of each suit. And there's a five. That's a keeper. And we have three tiles to pass. lap. Okay, we have four discards, which is ideal, and news with fives. News with fives. Kong, Kong, singles, pairs. I'd say that was a fantastic Charleston. This will be an early winner. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write what you would have played in the comment section below with Sprint 3. Let's see how things went with the time. If you ever want to play online or play in a competitive event, practice at home with Charleston Sprints to improve quick decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, May all your picks be keepers.